Medicare 101, how do I enroll in Medicare? Hi, I'm Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. Well, you would think it's simple, but it's not. <laughs> Just there's all kinds of rules. Uh, let's start with the simple thing, the easiest one of all. Uh, you're about to turn 65. You can enroll in Medicare Parts A and B three months before the month of your uh, month you turn 65. The month you turn 65 as well as the three months after you turn 65. Now that's the standard thing and you can do it online. You can do it uh, in a Social Security office because Social Security is the one that says, yep, you qualify for Medicare and uh, you can do it by phone. So you've got a lot of different options there. Now let's go back and look at some of the other things that might complicate it. Let's say you or your spouse uh, are still working. They're going to work past age 65 and uh, you're covered by a group insurance plan. Well, do you want to enroll in Medicare or not? Most of the time, if you work for a large employer, that's 20 employees or more. If you work for a large employer, you don't need Medicare Part B, but you might as well go ahead and sign up for Part A. Uh, Part A is free for most people. And uh, so, you know, that's, that's one consideration. Uh, if you have worked for somebody that has fewer than 20 employees, uh, you, pre you pretty much want to sign up for, uh, for Medicare Part A and B because in that situation, Medicare will be primary, your group insurance plan is secondary. So that's, there's that scenario. And then if you are under 65 and you're disabled and you have been disabled for 24 months, and that's Social Security's definition of disability, if you've been disabled for 24 months, you're automatically enrolled in Medicare Part A and B. Some people decide for whatever reason they want to refuse it, and I'm not really sure why, but they do. Um, I haven't found a good reason yet to, uh, to refuse it, but nonetheless, you know, that is an option. If you have been on, six, on Medicare uh, f uh, because of disability, when you turn 65, you have a new open enrollment period. So whatever you signed up for, if you signed up for an Advantage plan or you signed up for one of those high-priced Medicare supplement plans, high price being for people who are under 65, incredibly expensive. So most people either go without or they'll go with an Advantage plan. But when you turn 65 and you have been on Medicare for a few months or a few years or a number of years, you do get a new open enrollment. So kind of I call it taking a mulligan. You get to start all over again uh, in the, when you turn 65. Um, getting back to somebody who is working past 65, there is at least one reason why you may not want to enroll in Part A or Part B, um, and especially Part A, even though it's free. If you have a health savings account at HSA, then you probably don't want to enroll in Medicare Part A because that's going to mess up your HSA contributions. Uh, I'm trying to think of there are other situations. Um, yeah, if you have delayed enrolling in Part B because you were covered under an employer group plan, then there's a special form to fill out. Uh, actually, there's two forms to fill out to enroll in Part B if you're doing this after your 65th birthday. But there's, as you can see, there's a number of, of, uh, of ways to, to get, uh, get kind of messed up in the Medicare enrollment process. And <laughs> you can spend hours on the, on the Internet, you know, looking around and asking people and all this kind of stuff. Or you can call me. <laughs> that's pretty simple. And that's what I encourage people to do. Anytime you've got questions about Medicare, just give me a call. Uh, most of the time I know the answer. Sometimes I may have to look it up, but give me a call. I'll be glad to answer your questions. Anything about Medicare enrolling, uh, just give me a call. And this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.